what's going on. So today I just want to analyze the O1 Pro mode and uh, see what it could output. So the plan here is to uh, create a prompt uh, for creating a new SaaS project. And um, the prompt will basically ask us, uh, put in placeholders where we just fill in the placeholders and it outputs a complete implementation guide. So that's the, the goal of the first prompt. The next prompt is going to be to create a uh, some kind of analysis um, where we feed the model's responses into it and to tell us which ones are the best and which ones are the most thorough. Um, so we'll craft that prompt as well using the pro mode. Uh, then we're going to fill in the prompts. We're going to feed it to 01 pro mode, 01, and then 40. And then, uh, yeah, finally, so we're just going to analyze that. So the first prompt here is the pro mode. We're going to ask it to create a SaaS project. So you're a prompt engineer. Uh, we'll just go with that. So you are a prompt engineer. Create me a prompt with relevant placeholders. The prompt should instruct the LLM to create me a complete implementation guide. I'll provide my idea, front end framework, back end framework, and cloud. Okay, we'll just feed that. And while that's working, we'll work on the other. So. Documentation. Sure, we'll go with that. Okay, so the first one is done. Cool. So pretty simple. And now we are going to copy this. Now we'll go over to Bear here and we'll just copy this in and fill it out. All right, so the project idea. We're going to do like a book review website. Book review website. Front end frameworks we're going to use. Next.js, back in frameworks, we're gonna use Laravel. Uh, cloud provider, we're gonna use AWS. So create a comprehensive step-by-step -step implementation guide that details how to build, deploy, and maintain the described application. Architecture and design, front-end implementation steps, back-end implementation steps, cloud and deployment strategies, maintenance and full feature improvements, Okay, provide code snippets and pseudocode, which is great. Um, so this is not going to create the application for us. It's going to create a blueprint for us to follow to create this application. So this is going to be a SaaS application. Um, yeah, so that sounds good to me. So we're going to copy this prompt over. And we're going to paste it in because it's going to be the exact same thing. We're going to paste it into pro mode. 01. And for all. Okay, so they're all doing their own thing. Uh, O1 Pro Mode is still thinking while uh, O1. Was it to do the open up canvas mode? I'm not sure what this is. I think so. Okay. Still thinking. Okay. Oh, one is done. Okay. Still working through on four O and O one Pro is still thinking. <clears throat> okay. Oh, one Pro mode is done. I didn't time that. I probably should have timed it, but I did it. Um, well, we have a time here to see how long did it think for. For one minute and two seconds. And 4.0, I think just completed as well. Okay, so now we're going to take this um, prompt here. I'm going to paste it into the pro mode. So it's going to analyze following criteria, completeness, either use documentation quality, table format, and then we're going to use model one, model two, model three output. 
or maybe implementation guide. Yeah, we'll just do IG1, IG2, IG3. All right, so one is going to be this. Can I? All right, so we're going to start from here. Go all the way down. Copy it. Paste it. I'll go to two. And this is going to be the 01 model. These look similar. Okay. And then finally, O1. Let's just see how many tokens is this. Um, Tokenizer, open AI, let's see how much this is going to be. Not bad, 7,000 tokens total. Is that for the entire? Yeah, same thing, okay. So we're gonna go here and submit that. And promote is doing this thing. Let's just go ahead and review this. So this is going to be the pro mode in users. It has a kind of diagram here. Explanation. We're going to use Next.js front end deploy behind AWS CloudFront. Um, I'll probably use Amplify. I would probably use Amplify here. Um let go back in. Probably use Beanstalk. Um RDS sure for the mysql s3 for the assets and i am of course so next.js laravel and aws practices we use a load balancer offscaling groups so beanstalk will take care of that if we were to deploy this kind of project so walks you through creating a next.js application Laravel. So Laravel does need Sanctum. Let's see if it includes that. So yeah, Laravel Sanctum for authentication. Um, permission, Laravel permission, Spatty, Telescope. All right, so some simple API endpoints, books, books ID, so get post. Um, fetch all books, fetch a single book. There's no update. So there's no patch routes here. Schema hero, create books, create reviews. All right, so there are some EMV files that you need to set up with Sanctum. Uh, let's see if it covers that. This is a course, but we need, um, I think we need a middleware for same to work properly. It doesn't cover that middleware. Okay, so that's O1 Pro mode. Uh, let's see if this is done. Okay, so compression table completeness very thorough. Covers full life cycle. Um, I was hoping it would. Yeah, summary so analysis completeness. I one, IG one and two are both highly comprehensive. IG1 is very thorough, but feels dense for beginners. All right. Quality. IG1 is the best in documenta documentation quality. For, exper for experienced developers and complex projects, IG1 is the top choice. For intermediate, would be two, and for beginners, would be three. Okay. So at least um, according to this uh, analysis, uh, the O1 Pro model, would be the best for completeness, ease of use, and documentation quality. 
So let's just see if any of these talk about the middleware. I think the middleware include, all right, that's, we need that middleware, but we also need a specific middleware. Oh, I mean, 01 or 40 doesn't even include that middleware at all. So let's do one more search here. It's a course middleware, but we also need the sanctum middleware and it's not including it. Um, but yeah, so that's wanted to just do a quick test and have, um, promo to analyze itself. And it looks like, uh, promo is the winner. Now I'll probably go a little bit further and actually go through each, um, implementation and just read a little bit more thoroughly. Um, uh, but that's one of the quickly run by this test.